What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna check out how to simulate wind using the scatter add-on for Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember, scatter is the add-on for Blender that allows you to quickly scatter objects inside of your models. It's excellent for creating things like trees and other landscapes, as well as some other things as well. Um, but in this particular situation, we're gonna focus on using it to create a landscape. One thing to remember about this is this is currently on sale for 25% off in the Blender market. So if you have been interested in Scatter, you can currently get that for sale through, uh, I think next Monday, um, as a part of the spring sale. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over into Blender and let's go ahead and start by adding a system to the surface. So I'm just gonna tap the N key over here. We're gonna go into Scatter 5. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna select the object that we want to scatter along. So I'm just gonna select this plane right here. And then we just wanna go down to the Biome settings and we wanna select a Scatter Biome. Um, I'm gonna click the Reload button so I can see this library. But basically what we wanna do is we wanna find one of these systems and bring it in. So in this particular situation, let's go ahead and do the Bushes 06, um, just so we can see what the wind is going to do. So we're gonna click on the plus Bushes 06, and it's gonna bring this into your scene like this. So it's gonna bring in your uh, rocks, it's gonna bring in the uh, bushes themselves, as well as some of the stuff, I think there's some little grass pieces and other things like that that go in the background as well. But what we wanna do in particular is first off, let's go ahead. And so for now, I'm just gonna jump over into solid view mode so that we can actually see these objects, but it's not actually rendering out all the different materials. And so right now, if we were to click play in our scene, nothing's really going to happen, right? These are just going to sit here, um, which is fine if you're doing a static render, but let's say you wanted to add a little bit of movement in here. So let's say for example, that you wanted this um, to have a little bit of a breeze where the bushes kind of sway back and forth. So so what we can do is we can select the system that we want to add that to. So let's say for example that we wanted to add some wind to our rosemary bushes. Well notice those rosemary bushes are in here as their own individual system right here. So what this is going to allow us to do is this is going to allow us to edit the settings of this system right here. And so in this particular case, we want to scroll down, we want to select the option for wind. And so what wind is going to do is it's going to give us two options. It's going to give us options for wind waves, and it's going to give us an option for wind turbulence. And basically this is going to allow us to control the wind that's applied to these objects. So let's start by clicking on the wind waves. So notice how as soon as I click on the wind waves, um, these bushes go kind of diagonal, right? Well, if I click on the play button, notice that what, this, what the bushes are going to do is they're going to move around as if the wind was blowing like this. One thing I like to do is I like to check the box for bilateral swing. Um, that makes them kind of swing in both directions instead of just one direction, kind of like this is doing right here. Um, so it gives you a more uniform result. But notice how that wave is being applied to all of the bushes in here. However, the effect is way too strong. So what we want to do is we want to bring this down, maybe like 0.25 or something like that. Notice how now these bushes are going to rotate as if the wind was blowing like this, but um, they're not going to blow so hard that um, things that these are kind of look like they're coming out of the ground or anything like that. You can also make them a little slower by bringing the speed down right here. And if we look at the wind waves, you're gonna notice that this actually simulates waves of wind coming across your scene right here. So there's other options you can um, adjust as well. So things like the direction. Um, we could use a vertex color flow map. We're not gonna worry too much about that in this video. Um, if you do wanna learn about that, you can find out more about flow maps in the documentation right here. But for now, we're just gonna let Blender generate this. So we're gonna leave our wind direction fixed and you can adjust that direction by adjusting this value. So notice how if I change the number of degrees, the direction that these are going to blow is going to change. You can also adjust the strength of things like your waves. So for example, if I was to bump my waves up right here, notice how I'm getting a lot more variation in here instead of like the larger wind waves. I'm getting wind waves that kind of move across this um, in a smaller area 
You can also adjust things like the turbulence, which if you adjust the turbulence, that means that you're gonna get a less uniform effect because it's basically going to generate some additional noise and other things like that. So you can kind of play around with these settings in order to get the result that you want in here. I, I think this is basically using a mask behind the scenes in order to simulate wind. And so what wind turbulence is going to do is this is gonna give us more of a slight idle wind animation. So um, instead of the waves, which is a little bit more complex movement, the wind turbulence is just gonna kind of move things back and forth a little bit. But again, you can adjust things like your strength and your speed in here in order to get that kind of like gentle wind movement animation in here as if these are swaying in the breeze. And so one other thing to note about this is let's say that we wanted to add a different kind of bush in here. So let's say we wanted to add the bushes maybe from like the bushes uh, 07 or something like that. You can click the little drop down in this biome, select the option for scatter single layer, and you can pick the bushes right here. When you do that, it's just going to take the bushes out of this biome and scatter them on your surface. But again, notice how now I've got my smaller bushes in here, I've got my larger bushes in here, and if I click play right now, only the smaller bushes are moving. Well, you can apply different wind effects to this other set of bushes just by selecting them in your systems list, turning on your wind right here. I'm gonna make sure to put this on the bilateral swing option, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop the speed and the strength down a little bit. So I'm gonna bring those down, then I'm gonna click the play button. Notice how now I'm getting a different sort of wind in here with my larger bushes than I am with my smaller bushes in here. So you can use this to really customize the way these move in the wind using the scatter add-on. So that's just one of a ton of different functions contained inside of Scatter 5. Um, I can link to the manual down below and you can see all of the features that they have in here, but there's just a ton of tools for efficiently scattering objects inside of Blender. So I will link to Scatter 5 both on this page and in the notes below. If you are interested in checking that out, it is currently on sale for 25% off. But even if it's not, it's still a great value for what you get. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.